Hello and welcome to the video for how do I style the UMG combo box drop down. So you will see when we run our example that even though our combo box here is large, any entries we add to it are actually very small. How can we fix that? Well, what we need to do is overwrite the on generate widget event, which I'll go ahead and do here with one I've created and create another widget that we have prior we have already styled. So if we go in here and I open up my example widgets and open up my combo box drop down, you'll see something very simple. Simply a border, which I have set to a lighter bluish color, and a text inside of it. The text inside of it is public, and I have bound to a string called drop down text. This way, if I can change the drop down text variable, it will change the text that is displayed. We will need that in order to style the box later. So, inside of here, we have our event generate widget. What happens is every time it creates a drop down menu item, it generates the widget. By default, this is not overridden and you have our default small size. Since we want this larger, what we do is on the generate widget event, I'm saving the item, which is a string, which is what you see displayed, and saving it locally just to, for use later. I am then creating a widget of our type combo box that I showed you earlier. I am then taking that widget, setting the drop down text to the string that was passed in, which will be the item we see on the text, and then returning that new created widget. For each item in our drop down list, this will run and it will create a new widget styled the way we want it. So now that I've gone ahead and hooked that up, you see it on the on generate widget, it will call this event and we run it, we will see a slight difference. So if I were to do mat and check it out, we now see a larger styled drop down. So this is how you can easily restyle your drop down box. And you'll notice if I do another one called widget, it'll be the same. Unfortunately, it is a little restrictive right now. You cannot dynamically change the text without doing some workarounds. Hover does work if you do some other workarounds, but for the most part, you want to restyle the combo box drop down to be how you want it. And then you can go ahead and simply apply that in the generate widget event. So that way you have something that's styled either slightly different colored or the text is different and more appropriate. 